Hello YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and it is another Weeping Willow Bonsai Tree update. Now I'm spectral getting bored of these but it grows so profusely that I have to keep doing updates because I can't keep up. And if you remember last time I did a leaf defoliation on some branches and I snipped the ends off. And I did that to promote new shoots coming out. And voila, it's worked. It's working. They are starting to shoot out. Now, I'm just hoping I've got enough time. It's the 29th of, 29th of August at the moment. And I'm hoping that we've got enough time left in this period for them to branch out a bit. Can you hear my guts? My guts are going. No, I don't think you can hear my guts. Um, but they are going. Um, so yeah, on today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be wiring some branches, a, a cluster, a cluster wire. And as you can see, I've got a lot of wires on this. I've wired most of the main shoots that I need to at the moment. And this is the cluster that I was on about just then. So I want that more compact, more tight. So we're gonna wire each individual shoot and get it more compact. So it looks in proportion with the tree. Comprende? And I find the best way of doing this is if you get the branches and just gently ease them up. That's it, just like that. And that way, when you wire, you've got more of a more of a better angle to get your wiring. Now, you'd think I'd be an expert at wiring by now, the amount of times I've put wires on this, taken them off, put them on, put them off, put them on, put them off. But <laughs> I'm... I'm I know Peter Chang when it comes to wiring, um, but I am getting better. And the main thing when you're wiring like this is you want to make sure you don't put the wire over the nodes, your new shoots. So you want to bend the wire in between those bits and you don't want to snap any off in the process. It is quite a tricky thing to do, but Practice makes perfect, and you'll get there in the end. So I suppose you're wondering how old this actual tree is. Well, I took it as a cutting um, two years at the end of September, 20th of September, I believe. So it's not even two years old. And it's grown phenomenally in the last two years. I spent a heck of a lot of time with it. But I've enjoyed it. It's, it's your little bit of escapism, isn't it, bonsai? When you really get into it and you can see what, what you're making, it's it makes you proud. It makes you proud, yes. Proud, and it keeps you out of trouble. Oh, it keeps you out of trouble. See, what I like to do when I'm wiring these together is... I like to try to get the wires next to each other so if for any reason I do forget the wires on there and it does start to bite in, I'm hoping if you've got two right next to each other it's not going to look so, so harsh as if it was one wire really biting in but it might take some of the pressure off, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. But if I'm honest, I can't wait for the winter just to see the branch structure on this corkscrew willow. Because as it gets older, it seems to contort even more on the branches. And that's why I went for this, this species of weeping willow. Species of willow, shall I say. Because it's corkscrew is not a weeping willow. 
per se. It, it does eventually, but corkscrew willows tend to just grow up. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, yes. So I'm nearly there now. I've got one or two wires left to go. And as you can see, it's getting very crowded in there. And, oh, hear that rumbling? That was my guts. It is. I think it's a gale. I think it's... Can you hear that? Sorry, I do apologise, but that is my guts. It's just rumbling, tell me. Don't worry, it's not out there. Back passage. So, what was I going to say? Oh, I remembered. So, when I get all my other smaller shoots coming through, and I've got to wire those with my 0.5mm 12 gauge wire, then it's going to get even more compact. And we, in the winter, we will be doing probably more branch, getting rid of branches, because of, just to make it look more in proportion with the tree, if you get what I mean. But it is paramount that I check these wires in the next six days. Yeah, that's all it's going to probably take, six days. Depending on the weather, I did feed it a bit of miracle Grow all-purpose. So, as you can see, it takes such a long time to wire each individual branch on this tree. And I don't know how many I've wired together I wouldn't like I've never counted but I don't even know how to estimate on that I don't know how many there are 50 50 maybe I don't know there's a lot it cost me about 20 30 quid in wire a year to wire this baby and it's probably gonna cost me even well no because I've got my structure now I'm starting to get the structure of the tree so it's more a 0.5 millimeter wire. But we'll see, it's a learning guy. I'm an amateur. I'm, I'm no Nigel Saunders. I am an amateur and I won't deny that. But, let's look at my works. If I do say so myself. I'm not big headed, but this tree, I don't know, it just look, it, I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to it. I don't know, I just don't see a lot of people using corkscrew willow full stop well, they may use weeping willows but the corkscrew willow I've never seen anyone well I have seen a couple on YouTube but they were huge they were they didn't they didn't really go for it anyway so after we've wired all these we want to bend them down gently to get that natural weep and you've got to be careful when you're doing this not to break any of the shoots on the new shoots that are coming off the other branches in the process. Capiche? And a little bit of fine tuning because you want it to, to weep so it looks natural. Yes. I think I probably will fine tune this when I stop recording anyway. Yeah. And before I forget after you've done all that, you want to get your wire cutters and you want to snip the end. Now why do we do this, I hear you ask. Well, we like to snip the end because it will encourage the shoots to um, want to shoot out. But to help it on its way when you're doing that, you want to rip all the leaves off that branch. This is called leaf defoliation. So we we'll just pull, you pull up and they just come off. They're quite easy to, to pull off. And what that will do is it will start to shoot out like it has everywhere else. And that's it. I think we're there. I think that is it. That's that bad boy all wired down. Ready to be removed in about, I don't know, probably not that long. Well, YouTubers, thanks for watching up to this point. 
thrilled, it's static. Um, don't forget to hit that like button because that helps with the old, um, the, the, whatever it's called, um, YouTube, YouTube algorithms, that's it, algorithms, helps with the YouTube alg algorithms if you do like this video, and it would help. Thanks. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Gizzy green fingers. Ta-da.